first we have the initial steps. You need to disconnect the positive battery cable on your car. You need to remove all factory accessories. You need to unpack your supercharger kit from Torque Storm. Make sure you have everything there. All right, moving on to installation. Step one, you wanna install the supercharger crank pulley using the three cap screws and then install the bolt and washer to secure the damper. Step two, you need to install the passenger side head plate. Step three, install driver's side power steering pump head plate assembly. Before you do step four, here is where you would install the remote power steering reservoir and line kit, which are not supplied with your supercharger kit. Step four, you need to install the water pump pulley. The holes for long and short water pump are in the pulley. Line up holes accordingly. Step five, install the main supercharger bracket to passenger and driver side head plates. It is helpful to use the bolt and spacer on the bracket before installing. Step six, mount the Power Master alternator. Step seven, Install the Sandin SD7 AC compressor using the socket head screws. Step eight, mount the driver's side supercharger head unit. Step nine, mount the passenger side supercharger head unit. Step 10, install the six rib belt. Step 11, install the eight rib supercharger belt per diagram. If you don't have the automatic tensioner, adjust the belt to proper tension. Step 12, Install the two air filters. Step 13, install the carb hat blow off valve assembly with silicone couplings and clamps. May need to trim silicone hose to fit your application. Finally, hook up the blow-off valves to the manifold vacuum. You will have to tune your car for proper fuel-air ratio for forced induction. You will also need to adjust your timing per instructions. Failure to do this will result in engine damage. That's it.